Hey ladies, Giovanna here coming to you with another video. You know, I've been doing a lot of uh, personal one-on-one -on -one work lately and a lot of different trainings for some women in relationship and in business and speaking a lot about these feminine and masculine principles of energy. Now, irrespective of your sexual orientation or your gender, masculine energy and feminine energy exist as two polarities or two polar opposites of each other and they all operate within us. It's sort of like that yin and yang concept. And so in speaking to women specifically and speaking about feminine energy, the question always comes, well, how do I get into my feminine energy and how do I identify when I'm out of it? So normally I read a list off of traits uh, to women about masculine energy, which is very much action, doing, forcing, um, go-getter kind of energy. There's control aspect to masculine energy versus feminine energy, which is more allowing and patient and receptive and powerful in a different way. And so when I often compare these two charts with women, they're really astounded to realize that, oh my gosh, 90% of my day, and for some women that I speak to in business, 100% of their day is actually dedicated to being in this masculine energy. So identifying that is the first step because when a woman who naturally wants to relate to her feminine energy and feminine essence um, is operating mainly in that masculine essence all day long, which means there's no balance um, and there's no um, allowance for that feminine energy to come up, what often ends up happening is exhaustion. And we sort of don't know where this is coming from. And there's this whole concept of, you know, self-care and taking time out. And that's part of it. But identifying, hey, wait a second, I am completely in go-getter masculine mode. And I need to balance this out a little bit is really key and really important. And again, we go on autopilot. So sometimes we don't even notice this is happening. So the first step in noticing that this is happening is just to stop and get back into your body. And the way you do that is just breathe. So stop for like five minutes throughout the day intermittently and just sit back, whether it's in your office chair or if you've got a moment in the parking lot after or in between dropping the kids off at different events, just stop and breathe. Close your eyes, take deep cleansing breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth and scan your body. And what I mean by that is almost as though there was a laser beam starting at the top of your head and working its way all the way down. Just do a body scan. This really increases your body awareness and gets you back into your body and helps you identify areas that are under stress or where there's energy stuck or there's too little energy or too much energy. So coming into conscious awareness of your body and being in your body is the first step to sort of getting out of that real masculine energy of doing, going, forcing, planning, um, driving people around. And so get back in your body. And the second thing you can do is this fabulous exercise that actually was recently taught to me by a good friend. And it's a variation. I'm going to tell you about it in a variation of another meditation that I use with my clients, which is focusing on your womb space. So ladies, let's do this right now. Okay. Close your eyes. If you're driving, don't close your eyes. But if you're in a place where it's safe to close your eyes, close your eyes with me. And let's take a deep breath in and out through your nose in through your nose rather and out through your mouth and start to develop a rhythm so in through your nose and out through your mouth and you're making an audible sound so in through your nose and out through your mouth and there's an audible sound starting to happen in through your nose and out through your mouth and as this rhythm continues, you know, it's almost as if the ocean is within you and start to really tap into that sound and the rhythm of your breathing. And now I'd like you to drop your focus into your womb space. So in that space, just below your navel, in the creativity or sacral chakra or womb space, whatever feels good for you, you can place your hands there as a way to draw attention and awareness in this area. And I want you to start to really focus your breath in that area. So as you're breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth, that breath is really going to every part of your body, but you're starting to notice specifically that it's building in that area. 
And maybe you want to add a color. I always love using the color rose gold and have that build up in that area. And for many of my clients, they like to visualize um, that space as, a, as an oval or an egg or just a hollow space and see it filling up with this beautiful gold rose energy and the light of your breath that's coming in, in through your nose and out through your mouth. And as it builds in that area, I want you to start hit, shifting your hips back and forth. So we're gonna start to add some movement here. And you're gonna just be shifting back and forth. You can even do this standing up where you're shifting your weight from one leg to the other. And if you're lying down, you can just be shifting your hips and your pelvis where you're seated. And as you continue this movement and the energy is building in this beautiful womb space, I want you to visualize tree branches or roots actually coming out of that space and growing down your legs and into the earth. And this is where you're going to root yourself. And so again, using the breath in through your nose and out through your mouth and really feeling that rhythmic 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 flow of that ocean Even that sound it sounds like the ocean and you've got this beautiful energy in that womb space that's filling and building and now these gorgeous roots that are grounding you into the earth and adding that movement and continuing to move your hips back and forth and being in that space and when you're ready you can very slowly keeping your eyes downcast open your eyes and come back to me so how was that for you? That is a very simple exercise that you can do as many times and as often as you like throughout the day. And it's really great to get you back into your body and back into that beautiful flowing feminine energy. When we're not in our feminine energy, when we're too focused on the masculine side of doing, achieving, and going, we are out of the energy of receptivity. We are not in an expansive energy and we're not able to receive. And we're also disconnected from where our true power lies as women. So use this activity as often as you like. I would love to hear your feedback. So after you've done this meditation and this visualization, write some comments below. I want to hear from you. So just in the space below, write some comments and share this with some friends that you feel need to get a little more back in their feminine power and in their feminine energy. Post this on Facebook and on Twitter, and please leave your comments at the bottom for more useful tips like this and information about how you can be thriving in relationships and life through accessing your feminine power and wisdom. Please subscribe at javonicaposa.com. Look forward to hearing from you, and we'll talk to you real soon.